Hello everyone, welcome to Codis Camp. We are at 4th day of March Litco Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is Champagne Tower. So, as per the problem statement, we are given a stack of glasses arranged in the form of pyramid such that the first row will have one glass and the second row will have two glasses and the third row will have three glasses and so on till it has 100 rows with 100, 100 glasses. So, now the champagne is being poured in the very top glass in the stack and after the first glass has been filled exactly half of the liquid will be filled here in the left side and half of the liquid will be filled here in the right side and once these two are filled the next rows glasses will be filled so so on and it will fill till the hundredth row so now they have given the number of glasses poured inside the top glass and we have to return how much champagne will be there in the glass they are given in the that particular row and particular glass so let's understand this with an example so now consider an example we are going to pour four glasses of champagne and we have to return the amount of champagne will be there in the third row first glass so let's start with pouring the champagne at the glass one so we are going to pour one quantity or one glass of champagne first so once we fill one glass of champagne the first glass at the top will be filled completely without any uh, spill because this is equal to one glass of champagne so it completely fills the quantity now it's time to pour two glasses of champagne so while pouring second glass it will start spilling half of it to the glass in the left and half of it to glass in the right so in that case after pouring that is after finishing the second glass 0.5 of glass in the left will be filled and 0.5 of glass in the right will be filled so which is nothing but after filling glass number one the second glass has been completely divided into half and pour two it's equal uh, successes successor succeeding glasses so now let's Pour, start pouring glass number three so we already have half of the glasses filled in row two now we are going to pour glass three to the top one so as usual while pouring the glass number three this will also be equally divided to the left side and right side so after finishing glass three the rest of the 0.5 will be filled in the left side and the rest of the 0.5 will be filled in the right side so after finishing glass three we have three complete glasses filled with champagne so now it's time to pour our final glass which is fourth glass so this will also be filling capable of filling one complete glass so now we are going to put our fourth glass of champagne here in the top glass it will equally divide it to 0.5 to this glass and 0.5 to this glass as these glasses are already filled it is going to further divide them into half and pour it to its left and its right so this 0.5 will be divided into half that will be 0.25 to the glass of its left and 0.25 to the glass of its right so this is not even half this is quarter filled and this is also quarter filled same way this 0.5 will be divided into 0.25 and 0.25 to its left and to its right so in that case this will be filled with 0.25 and this middle glass will be filled with another 0.25 so which means now it is filled with 0.5 so first glass will be filled with 0.25 so now our answer is clearly 0.25 because we have to return the third row first glass which is having only half of the liquid from the top glass same way the last glass in the third row will also have half of the liquid of 0.5 which is 0.25 but the middle glass will have 0.5 because it gets the champagne from both the glasses of its top so this is how this works and we are going to return 0.5 as a result. So how are we going to approach this? Which is very clear. However, we explained it. We are going to simply apply the logic to convert into a mathematical formula or some basic calculation and get it to our result. So let's see how are we going to approach it. So instead of calculating at each glass how much water will be or how much champagne will be poured, we can recognize easily that how much water will be passed through that particular glass. For example, if we are going to pour 10 
glasses of champagne then the top glass at level 0 will pass through those 10 cups completely because this is the top glass and we have to pour the champagne only through the glass and all 10 glasses will pass through this so once this glass is filled one after that only rest of the liquid will be flown through the rest of the glasses which means this will occupy or consume one full glass and only rest of the nine glasses will be passed through the rest of the glasses so of which not the glasses at level two will have all nine but only it will get half of it which means in nine 4.5 will be passed through this cup and rest of the 4.5 will be passed through the other cup same way after completely uh, pouring taking two quantity that is level two is having two glasses in this level this glass will take one quantity and this glass will take another quantity which means from this nine minus two glasses it will be seven glasses and level three or level two these three glasses will pass this seven glasses to the next level which is again means this 4.5 will be equally divided to these two glasses that will be 2.25 and 2.25 and through this glass it will be again a 4.5 so now these three glasses will occupy three quantity so seven minus three would be four and these four glasses will pass through only one quantity each that is again dividing this into 2 and 2 and 2 and so on. So now as per this calculation we now know if the glass 1 is going to pass all 10 and what is the next glasses quantity it will flow through. So which is nothing but if consider n is the number then 4.5 can be calculated by n minus 1 by 2. Same way this 4.5 is n minus 1 by 2. And again, if you consider from 4.5, what is 2.5 or how do we calculate 2.5? It is nothing but n minus 1 by 2 by 2. So let's say quantity is equal to n minus 1 by 2 and the next glass will be q minus 1 by 2. Same way, this will also be q minus 1 by 2. And the middle class would be q minus 1 by 2 plus q minus 1 by 2 because this will be filled by glasses at both the ends. And same way it divides to its left and right and so on. So these are the calculations we are going to make. Every time we are going to divide half of the solution to both the sides and keep adding them till the glass we want. If suppose we want to calculate the amount of champagne that has to be there in the fourth or third glass, then we are going to calculate this till here and what is the result is we are going to return. So now this is such a simple calculation but to store to compute one glasses calculation we need the previous rows answers so this is nothing but memoization so we need to keep a data structure or some memory to keep track of the previous levels calculation so that we can easily calculate the current levels values so this is very similar to how you do memoization for a Pascal triangle. So let's go to the code now. So before getting into code, we are going to use a two-dimensional array memory to, to memoize the previous levels values. So that would be R square. R is nothing but the number of rows and it is also the time complexity of the problem. So now let's go to the code. So here is the code for this problem. As I said, we are going to declare a memoization two-dimensional array, double array uh, to store our uh, sub-problem solutions. So now our return type is double. So we are declaring a double memoized array and uh, poured is the amount or quantity of champagne that will be poured in the top glass. So we are assigning that to 0, 0. That is 0 throw zeroth glass because as per the problem statement both row and glass starts with zero index so now we are iterating all the rows till the given row and given glass and we are taking we are calculating the q to the next step which is nothing but whatever is the value minus one divided by two so here we are taking maximum of zero comma this value sometimes if we my, do a minus in a decimal value then it will go in a negative way so we are taking minimum of 0 comma 
the value minus 1 by 2. And at every step, we are adding our q to i plus 1 comma j and i plus 1 plus j comma j plus 1. So, here at every row, the first and last glass will be having only q as its value and rest of the middle cups will have q plus q twice of what we calculated here. So, our loop enters first time with 0th index. So, that particular row 0 will be filled only once. So, as the loop goes, the other rows will be added with one more q. So, the middle q's middle glasses will be filled with double q as they add these values to this indexes. And finally, the last glass will be having only one q as the loop will not repeat to add one more q here. The last glass will stick with only one q. So, our first glass and last glass will be filled with q only once and the middle glasses will fill will be filled with double q's so once all this is calculated our solution will be at exactly the query row and query glass and we are taking minimum of this value comma 1 because the maximum value of the glass will be completely poured so that will be 1 otherwise if it is minimum than 1 then we are returning that value so yes this is it let's give it a try Yes, so let's submit. Yes, the solution has been accepted and runs in 4 milliseconds, which is 90% faster. So, thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.